Hey everybody, welcome to Buffet Minded Book Review. So this book, 12 by 12 by William Powers, is another one of those books that absolutely changed my life. So I've mentioned Gretchen Rubin and the Happiness Project book. I have mentioned The Minimalists. Um, I will review their books. I loved Everything That Remains. Um, the book by uh, Greg McCowan called Essentialism, another fantastic book. But this book, 12 by 12, was the first time I ever started thinking about living in a small house. Because before that, you know, with kids and that full catastrophe of living, <laughs> you, you just, you know, of course you're going to buy a big house and then a bigger house and more bedrooms and more square footage and more yard and this, that, and the other. And I got this book, I think it was about 2010, so maybe 15 years ago. And it really started me thinking about simplifying, that I wanted my life to be uh, more simple. So I read this book, The 12 by 12. It's about William Powers. It's an autobiography of his year when he lived in a woman's one-room cabin off the grid. And I absolutely loved it. And then, of course, over the years, I read more of his books, um, like New Slow City, um, the, Dis the Dispatches from a Sweet Life, and some other books. I can't even remember the titles, but I will put them in this video. And I even met William Powers, and he was just darling. He was at a book reading. And like, I'm not somebody who likes to drive, but I drove really far to see him, and it was totally worth it. He was great. Got my picture with him, which I'll put in. But anyway, so this book, The 12 by 12, was just amazing. Let's see when it was written. Oh, yes, yeah, see, he signed it for me. Um, okay, it was written in 2010. And it's just really gets you thinking about what you need in life, what is important, things like that. So if you are somebody who is interested interested in living a more simple life or getting in touch with, I don't know if it's getting in touch with your values because your values are there, um, but to really hone in on what your priorities are. And the most important thing I learned, not from William Powers actually, but from the minimalist, is that if everything's a priority, then nothing's a priority. You really have to decide what's your most important thing. And over the years, we've really decided health is the most important because without your health, you don't have anything. It doesn't matter how much money you have, how many friends, how big your house is, if your car's paid off. If you don't have your health, you just can't enjoy anything. You can't be there for other people. And, you know, since we're dealing with a serious health issue right now, it really does have us focusing in on, okay, how do we want to live our life? What's the most important? What makes us happy? Things like that. So I really love this book. I encourage you to seek out William Powers' books. Uh, check out his website. I don't even know if he's active on it anymore. I, I don't know. I know he was raising a daughter in Bolivia, and so I know that the full trappings of having a, a children really takes you away from doing the things you might want to pursue, but um, I, I hope he's still writing. He's awesome. Anyway, William Powers, you'll be so happy that you checked out his books. And let me know in the comments, have you read any of his books? Are you interested in The Simple Life? I'd love to know more about you. Okay, take care.